what's the kingpin originally? Then? What's that? Album? What's that? So is this is bush, a standard bush and taper bearing. Yeah, this is a standard MAN front axle, right? Yeah. That we've been to Alex's with and we modified it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seven and a half ton or something. No, uh, it has to be um, uh, from a twenty-six ton tractor unit, so it's like a nine-ton front axle, like right. you're having a proper lorry. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've put twenty-six degrees of twist in it here. Yeah. Twenty-six. Yeah. Right. Between so. 26. Yeah, the difference between there and the bottom of the kingpin, or perpendicular to the kingpin now, is 26 degrees. Where do you get these numbers from? The rules have been changed now, so the maximum of our allowed a kingpin inclination that we're allowed now is 30 degrees in the new rules. Yeah. We've got four degrees in the leaf spring, the way the leaf spring's bolted into the chassis. Okay. So when this is all built up and put together now, those, that, that, those kingpins should be at 30 degrees. Yeah. From the vertical. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we've put 26 degrees of twist in there, which is what we warmed it up for and, and bent it over. And what did you have to go to to get 26? Did you have to go way past No, it just a little bit and then let it cool it's down and then a little bit more. It was a little bit of a, a tweak. Moves you go. everywhere you do well, it. Go on, go on. So what are you doing? What are you using to twist? Put long kingpins. We strip it down. So we need like a 50 ton press to push the kingpins out. So we've yeah. got four foot long kingpins. Do this at yours. In yeah. Here now. Yeah. yeah. Got this strapped down to a machine bed. Got that bit cherried up. And then kingpin with a 90 degree bend on the overhead crane over the top of it and just pulled it. Yeah. But what we had to be really careful of, we set off with a center point up the middle of the center of the kingpin in from that direction. So everything that we've done to it, we've then sort of bent the axle back. So the center point has ended up back in, like re relative to the middle of the axle yeah it's still where it started yep. from yep. so yep. even though it's been twisted it's still in the and then to like rotate it forward and then once we've done all it. that we've put three degrees of negative in it now because that's what the rules will now allow us to you have see it in that. okay you so when it. that's in the straight ahead position now you can actually see the three degrees of negative in there now Oh, it's at so fine between if you just turn that ever slightly like that it just and measure that that's different so when you're trying to bend that and bend that it, We've had two days on it, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we were two like, full yeah. days. We had, we had, well, yeah. The last yeah. day we were like four of my blokes yeah, yeah. around it, a full yeah. day. And we do it and then he cools down, it moves the other way and all that. And then eventually Dave took it home. It's been moving when it cools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave took it home, built it all up, put the ubs and everything on it. We made some like bronze bushes in there. And Once off. we tracked it up, Track ready to install it, we realised it was It wasn't wrong. quite, it was like one that you had one, only one and a half in one side. But, but the movement, because it's moving everywhere, because it's like that. Like look how look at look how it escalates to massively. Dead difficult to measure to everything. So this time we did it when we just, went just to. Just do that again. Yeah. Because yeah. of the angle, because yeah. of the two angles. So yeah. the next time when Dave come back up last week for like round two, because time's running out because we're bolting this in next week. Because you're racing. We're, we're, we're testing next, next Thursday. Thursday. Next Thursday. Today we're gone. Yeah. We made a sacrificial set of these hubs with just steel bushes in the top. It didn't matter about the heat and kingpins, and we built actually we twisted it with it built up like this. With it, which so it was easy about. to measure. So you could keep measuring time. it bang off here, right. a big set of squares yeah. to the machine bed. The axles bang onto the bed. Everything's level. It's just <laughs> level to the gate. And so everywhere you put it, so we actually, so it is actually perfect now. Like, bloody. Yeah. So go on, the gaining beams. What? So we did, what we're we talking understeer, oversteer. Yeah, it? well, we needed to make it legal. So we had to reduce. We could have carried on with the old axle. We yeah. could have just put four degrees of wedge in it and reduced it back to, to be in to being legal, right. but then we would have had a wedge in there, so we get a ride out oh, So as your truck was previously, it wasn't legal? No, they've changed the, the rules right, over the, right. like the 2025 For the reason, be, reason being to what? Take, because we were running sort of 36 degrees in our old truck. Yep. Some of the teams were running 42 degrees of kingpin inclination, which was absolutely radical in there. Mm -hmm. And it was starting to cause steering failures. In where? What, track in rods? the track rod ends, oh, in the steering arms, in the steering, steering boxes. Honestly, yeah, mm -hmm. it was just because the steering box is having to work so well. Yeah, I know you have to run a call if you have power yeah, steering. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's right because it it's, works the pump. Because so the well. angles like that when you turn, it's actually trying to lift, isn't it? It's pushing it up in the air, so it's doing so much. So they've wound it back. Oh, so really, this the... shouldn't be as good as it was then. No, but now we've put the three degrees in it. So the whole reason that we had the twist in it before was so that when you put a bit of lock on, you were getting camber change all the time. Now we've got some camber now to start with. So we're hoping if we can find a sweet spot, it's going to be better than the old one. And Dave's an absolute brainchild on the 
steering box on the truck and instead of being on the front of the chassis now yep. to moved it into the middle crossways on right redesigned the whole thing re-engineered it all so yeah. steering box is in the middle with the two steering, track rods. when this gets reinstalled in the truck now if i am i am stood where the crank pulley is in yep. the front of the truck yep. basically yep. now the steering so box is the now, front of the truck yeah yeah well yeah, i'm in the front, middle front I'm body in the middle, the right. bump yeah. is where you are right okay. the yeah, engine. Yeah, go on. And now this is the drop arm here now off the oh. steering box what, what are you gonna do you I've, gonna... Got, I've got two equal length track rods that converge in the middle here now and the steering box drives that like that so i'll do away with the t-bar linkage on there the drag link the steering cool. box has nice. anyone seen this this whole top, no, secret? top secret so <laughs> but it'll have either worked or i'll have died by the time this goes <laughs> out it comes, so, <laughs> comes fast as on thursday like a fast shopping trolley you know, like, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> a bit like me and me yeah, like, you're like, not like, going into yeah, the unknown yeah. fully so committed my mate's, power just, on, yeah. Yeah. my mate's just whatsapp me today the laser boy he's just made the laser um, boy, go on. What's two that? great big things to be welded on here tonight to carry two dirty great big steering dampers off the front of here. Well, what do you think like, you're going to get feedback then? Quite early. But it won't transfer energy back through the steering box, would it? It'll no, but it gets, could get a shake on, couldn't it? Right. Is yeah. okay. Oh, they can, yeah. Because the, the inside wheel's unladen, it gets the wop, it gets the wop on. I've no experience yeah, with that. Yeah, well, right. they do. Yeah. <laughs> So what you do, like tr run what sort of damper? Like a truck shock absorber or something? Yeah, they're special steering dampers. Oh, is that yeah, yeah. right? But so so that's more work for so your power I've steering got, to do then. So I've now got an ability to change the Ackerman angles now. So we we don't know once we get the camber into it, like you know what we need to do with the inside wheel, like whether we need more lock or less lock on the inside wheel. But by changing my linkage that I've got going on in here now, I can control how much that wheel turns relative to that wheel. Basically, it's all going to be a bit. It, no, not here. I this, love this. Bit, I try I love this. The other this clever thing, which mean. I think is brilliant, like they said, if you set it up right and you get the link, she's dead right here. As the truck goes up and down on its ride, right, it obviously yeah. lengthens and shortens. Yeah, of course, you're so when you see the box is stationary on the chassis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if, so if it's like a go kart, isn't it? So if you brake really hard and it comes down like that, right. to, you could end up. It's by going to tow, to by towing in. Towing in. Yeah, yeah. And then if, when you put well, the power on, tow it out when you got, when you put it back side of the axle here. No, say that again. Right, so the axle, well, you're stood back to front on you. I'm looking forward here now. So yeah. when the thing pushes down like that now, that track rod's going to shorten. Yep. So it's going to tow it out. Yep. Yeah. So it's yep. going to get the tow out on the brakes. Tow out on the brakes, mm. yeah. yeah. But to, well, you'll yeah, be I've, steering in on, usually, aren't you, on the but brakes? I've got... The steering box height can come up or down, so I can actually change whether those angles are flat up or down to start with. Right. I can change the angle that that rod's going to make with the steering box. How much tracking adjustment are you going to have? Oh, oh. infinite tracking right. adjustment. Right, right, right. So you're not going to be on the... We've, <laughs> like one, we've I've only got one thread left, right. Not this axle, but on the other axle. But we've had it on the pit at home, and we've had it chained down so the springs are completely flat yep. and it can't move So you've anymore. simulated it being bottomed down. And we've right. got like three mil a toe change from normal rides. That's not massive though. Which obviously sounds horrific, three mil, but when the tyres are like blamonges, yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think we're going to feel three mil a toe out on the brakes, as long as my calcs are right. And what I can't actually simulate is what's going to happen in full roll at the moment. That's what I don't understand. What's, what's the weather going to do? You're in South Wales <laughs> on Thursday. Can you make an educated assessment in the wet? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll be fine. It can't rain. It can't rain for three days. Oh, you've got three-day test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open pit lane. Yeah. Well, it, one day's media day. Um, one day's general testing for the championship. But because we were going anyhow, we've got exclusive the day before, or semi-exclusive the day before. So Lord we can just go and have a little tinkle around. And how many options have you got? I've got Different track rods. the one that Different. we've got, and I've got um, plus or minus thirty mil either way on there. And what I absolutely don't want to do is go, this is a load of rubbish, swap it back to how no, it was. Because you know better. Because well, it's not legal, is it, if you went back to how it was? Uh, so, you no, know, the steering box installation can go back solid, to how it solid, was. Right. Yeah, no, the, the kink and inclination's got to stay at the new spec. Yeah. That, we've got to work with that. But uh, moving, the, moving the steering box from there to here, I've managed now, I've absolutely, I've had to put an 8 mil packer in one rear corner, and I've got the, stick, got the corner weights to within six kilograms now. So the front axle weighs right. 3,150 kilos. Yeah. That's what the, not, not the axle, but the, you know, the corner weights on the front yeah. axle is yeah. 3,150, yeah? And I've got six kilos different side to side now Nothing. with the fat driver in Were it. Were you in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, that's at the end of the race. So there's a little bit of water, a little bit of fuel left in it, as it would be at the end of the race. 
to, and where I've always had 150 kilos difference in, this, in the corner weights before. 150? Yeah. And you put it down to six. And, and yeah, because I've took right. that steering box from there and I put it here. So it's like a big lump. Yeah. I've so to, it's, it's, it's center and it's lower. Yeah. And I've had, to put a bit of, I've had to put a bit of linkage in to get the, obviously the column goes down, bends around, comes back. But you altered the back of the truck last year before one of the last races, widened the spring, brought springs out on the back axle. We yeah. machined some big spaces up, moved the wheels out to the maximum track width. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. No, we're in for 10 days and then we go straight to Grand Teresa. Shorts, in the track. In the yeah. And actually, when I was there in November, um, we raced it. Snetterton in September, and then Le Mans a few weeks after that. Yeah. I got a few tricks when we were at Le Mans, came out, went to Brands. What learned tricks from what the Europeans the were doing? Europeans. Yeah. When we went to Brands Hatch on the Friday morning, I went to Tenspick and I have been around Brands Indy. From what you learned? All weekend again, but, but we've got some really good data for Brands Indy. Okay. So okay. we're okay. Really going to be dry there on Good Friday. You've got a steering angle sensor on it. Yeah. And you're, so you know what you do, you know exactly what you're doing. Why couldn't you replicate yeah. that time again? Why couldn't you replicate that time again? Yeah. The circuit goes off. Is, it? is that right? Okay. Goes on. okay. I think the driver tenses it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. You've got you've got to be really relaxed with these things, and I think the minute you have a good a good first session, and then you get in it the next time, it's bad. And then out. you try too hard and f like you can say about you can play three. You, you wait for you. Yeah. You've been yeah. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting, waiting for the Oh, but he won. Donkey's he years. Won. Is that right? I can turn up somewhere, go fast on a Friday afternoon, and that's you. Tires and shoot your load. Fine on the Saturday. Well, we used to have eight pints before you went. You're always quicker than you are. Yeah, like I'm sensible. I'm more sensible now, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. So go on, Brands Hatch, so, and then yeah. So we're planning for three day test next week, and then we're out, and then we're at Brands uh, for the Easter weekend. Yeah. So, but we straight. We don't we have a lot of time to develop there. Unless has anyone done this before? There's one one British team that got it to work. Move what centre mounted steering yeah. box, right? But with a foot with a bonneted truck, so it's a bit easier because there's a bit more room in it. Obviously, yeah. right forward control so difficult. A couple of the German guys have tried it, took it off, didn't like it. Obviously, they won't tell me why, but you won't know until they've tried it. Can't knock it until you try it, boy. Can't knock it until you try it. We've really enjoyed doing it, and we've had a great sense of achievement for it. Yeah, and then you've got a corner way. You've, 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 you've cracked it in the corner way. Yeah. yeah, and uh, the big thing is. I think we've taken a load of labour off the steering. So we have to run 250 bar of steering pressure in this thing. Right. Some of the boys run 280 bar, but they break, they actually break the casting on the steering box and break pumps for fun. So oh, 250 yeah. bar, we say fish. But that's because the steering box is there. There's a 90 degree drive here, isn't there? And yeah. we've done away with all that. We've equalised everything. So it's, it there. should be able to do less work. I think we took a load of work out of the steering box. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss an episode.